A research study that came out late 2020s showed that childhood trauma can affect the outcome of your identity as an adult. If you feel that you've had childhood trauma or a loved one or someone close to you that experienced childhood trauma that may have affected their outcome and their identity as an adult, stop right here. This is the video for you. It is known in America that 1.5% of the population has experienced the most traumatic levels of trauma known to man. A study carried out, which was published in 2020, but it was carried out between January 2018 and March 2018 at a nonprofit organization in Tunisia. Participants who self identified as homosexual were recruited, it's about 24 males. The control group included healthy heterosexual adults recruited from hospital staff and they had 24 homosexual males from the hospital staff. The childhood trauma was assessed using the French version of the childhood trauma questionnaire. Now, these questionnaires are all questionnaires that are used for specific questions to identify trauma that someone experienced. Uh, this is a French questionnaire. It's not the questionnaire that I think they use in America but I'm sure it's pretty similar. Now in the homosexual group, they found that the most common form of abuse was physical neglect at 61.6% out of the 24, followed by physical abuse at 38.5% and sexual abuse at 30.8% and emotional abuse at 23.1% and following emotional neglect at 23%. The childhood trauma total score was 49.6 in the homosexual group and 35% in the heterosexual group, which is a statistically significant difference. Now the scores are found to be significantly higher in the homosexual group than in the control group, except physical and emotional abuse. The high reported frequency of childhood trauma amongst homosexual calls for immediate tension from government and public health officials. Let's repeat that again. The high reported frequency of childhood trauma among homosexuals calls for immediate attention for government and public health officials. Let's go back. A new study states that abuse in childhood can affect your development and your identity. Now, once again, this is a study. You have to take it with a grain of salt as the faceless caseworker. Always state you must take it with a grain of salt. For those who don't know me, I'm the faceless caseworker. I've worked in the field of human services for more than eight years. Uh, I've worked with people with mental illness, um, terminal illness, all type of medical illnesses from diabetes to HIV to terminal illness to cancer to uh, bipolar to mental all types of mental illness, homelessness, PTSD. You name it, I've worked with them. So this study here is talking about trauma experienced as a childhood and how it affects your adult life. And this study specifically is speaking on a study with heterosexual men and homosexual men. Now, excuse me, the study is stating that the homosexual men, and this is a 50-50 study, 24 um, straight men and 24 homosexual men and the study showed that the homosexual men experience more trauma as a childhood than the straight men now once again this has to be taken with a grain of salt because we don't know the individual experiences of those individuals um, but it's very alarming to know that uh, the homosexual men experience much more trauma um, than the straight males now, someone can just jump to conclusions and say, hey, maybe that's what causes homosexuality, that they've been sexually abused and um, maybe they've just become, um, you know, their identity, they're confused of their identity and they don't know who they are. That could possibly be true or it possibly couldn't, but like with any research, more studies need to be done because a lot of research does not exist in this subject. It's a very sensitive subject. Um, in the community, you know, uh, in the times that we live in, well, the LGBT community is finally getting their uh, place in society. Uh, civil rights are expounding, and obviously, with any civil problem, including racism and things like that, there's much more work to be done. But 
faceless caseworker here is using evidence-based research to identify the causes of some of the traumas of human beings that exist. Um, and this study is stating that this trauma causes or possibly can cause identity issues. Now, I'm not stating in this research anywhere that a person who declares and identifies themselves as homosexual, lesbian, transgender, or bisexual is only because they were abused. I'm not stating that. I'm just looking for specific identities and identifies in like any subject that we may research in, in the world to find some kind of understanding of why the cause, what is the cause, and uh you know, and if it's something that, you know, that is affected, maybe somebody may want to seek a um, treatment to deal with the trauma that they experienced. But I found that, that the study is pretty interesting because I am a big guy on development. All right. Now, this is similar to a study that was done many years ago. An um, epidemiological study. Um, to identify physical sexual abuse and uh, witnessing violence in childhood. And uh, they want to see if there was a correlation between uh, same-sex sexuality and adulthood um, and see if there's some kind of match here or some reason why. All right. And this study. This study also stated that uh, lesbians and gay men reported 1.6 to 4 times greater prevalence of sexual and physical abuse than heterosexuals. Now, this doesn't state uh, what specific type of abuse, but it does say that it's childhood maltreatment and sexual abuse. So this is not abuse that one would experience as an adult. This study is specifically talking about abuse that a child may have experienced. All yeah, right. So it's something to think about. Um, what do you guys think out there? Uh, do you think partial or some individuals who declare to be lesbian gay bisexual or transgender um have made this decision based off of maybe untreated trauma that was experienced as a child um you know that we're, we're doing research here we're speaking as an adult we're not speaking on a bias or anything we're just trying to speak on different subjects and identify the causation of, of why we choose certain ident identities you know if you remember in school I remember in school it's not just about sexuality it's also about different things and it was gangs and the groups as you look in high school um, high school is like a picking party some people choose to hang with the cool kids some people hang with the gangsters the thugs or like they did in the 50s the guys with the leather jackets and grease in their hair and black combs. Um, some people hang with the athletes, right? Everybody chooses and identifies with a certain group. Now, me looking back into my childhood, you know, in high school, I definitely hung with some bad guys. And, you know, in elementary school, I was, you know, a top A student um, on a roll, never missed a class. Um, was the highest percentile in the um, end of the school year for uh, the reading and the math tests. And uh, I went to high school and chose to hang with the bad crowd and got a little bit of trouble. So, you know, it, this is the reason why the face this caseworker makes this study. And if it's, you're somebody yourself who's trying to identify and look to see why you, some of the behaviors you did as a child or a teen or as an adult now, hit the like button, subscribe. We're going to identify, we're going to go deep and try to figure out why we do the things that we do. All right. This is not about sexuality. You know, this is about us development and how we go about doing things in our lives. All right. And we're using evidence based research to do such a thing. All right. So I'm the faceless caseworker. I'm here for you guys and I'm out of here till next time.